It's time to start getting these guys back in shape. Well, at least him. So it's supposed to rain and then get really cold. So everything's going to get really icy or even icier than it is now. So we are taking advantage of the small amount and squishy snow that we have while we can. So I got Caden. He's playing with his digger. <laughs> and I'm going to go ride Wilson. Uh, considering I haven't ridden him in a couple months, I thought he'd be a little bit sillier than he is, but he's actually being really good. Wave, Kaden! Good job! Our property is so slippery that Kaden has started putting himself down on his belly and pulling himself along the snow and the ice. Yeah, I'm waiting for you. Come on. Let's go see Pom Pom. Let's go. to document it because we don't usually get that much sunshine this time of year. <laughs> this ice has finally kind of subsided a little bit. We got enough snow on top of it that we can safely walk across it. And even though it's going to be minus 10 tonight, um, with that sunshine, it's only about minus one and the snow is nice and soft to walk in. So we're going to take advantage of that while that lasts. jinx it but he's looking good I have Wilson waiting in the barn to go and Fred really really wants to come so of course we're gonna come back for him there's a little myth or a little saying saying that fairies come and visit the very special horses at night and they leave these behind. And uh, I'm gonna choose to believe it because he's the only one that gets them no matter how many times they take them out and he is a special man. So we're gonna go with the fairies. <laughs> eh? you, you guys are wild. Eh? So you need to calm down. Snow is a little bit crunchier today, so I'm not really gonna push them to do anything. I'm gonna let them just kinda feel the ground out and do what they would like today. Not. See 
seems like he's found himself a little path that he likes. You are done? Fred's just waiting for a halter. <laughs> We're gonna go ride Pom Pom? Yeah. <laughs> we have to get on from the left side. We gotta check the cinch first. Hold on. The pony's being a pain in the butt. Hold, hold on right here, like this. Okay. Let's see if I can get him to step up a little bit. Okay. Why are you being a pain in the butt? Jaden, you gotta hold on. There you go. You wait. Good job. So I'm gonna breath. <sighs> this little one decided to be fresh today. Um, when Caden was on him, he just did little scoots, but I had a feeling, so I took Caden off him. As soon as I took Caden off him, started leaping up into the <laughs> up into the air. I'm not taking your gloves off. It's cold out. As soon as I took Caden off of him, he started leaping up in the air and trying to buck and trying to take off. So, me, who dressed warm, ended up doing laps and running him around the front yard in the deep snow because for obvious reasons, I can't get on him. So, Caden, I think Moonshine's done. He's, he's done. You guys say thank you for not killing me today. Give him big pets. Say thanks, buddy. Good job. I'm not taking your gloves off. I've loosened off his back cinch here and this is loose and this is loose right here. We are going to leave Moonshine standing here while we finish the chores and do all the other things. But we don't turn horses out immediately after doing what he just did. Putting him in a pen would just be rewarding the behavior. So he's gonna stand here for a little while, think about what he's done. We ended the ride on a good note, um, and so now he's just going to stand here and think about it. And uh, once he's standing there chill and calm, then we'll put him back in his pen. Excuse you. You might want to stop that. <laughs> Hi, buddy. You can give him a hug? No, you can't stand on the... Aww. <laughs> Badger didn't want your hug. He said, no, thank you. Aww. <laughs> Say good night, Badger. Good night, Badger. Good job. Uncle, you give him kisses? Good job. Uncle. You want to ride him? Okay, one sec. Don't kick him. Okay, you riding Badger? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, I can't get enough of these goats. This camera doesn't do them justice, but they always light up this nice kind of orangey peach color and it is really really pretty never a dull moment around here i'll tell you oh my gosh <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> peekaboo 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 goats Good night, Badger. Nice. Good job. So this is what we like to see from ponies. 
He was just standing there licking his lips. He's standing nice and calm. He's not hollering, he's not moving, he's not pawing. So we're gonna unsaddle him. He's got food in his pen already. There goes his licking lips. Okay, and we'll put you away for the night. And our goats are the only ones that don't have heated water. So even though we do break up the ice and we come out here three times a day to check it, I always fill it up with warm water to make sure that they are able to get as much water as they need, especially while they're eating, so. By yourself. Huh? Hmm? Kind of like a slide. Oh, okay. We, we turn it in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why do I feel like you've done this before? Daddy's home. Woohoo! Mommy's got you. I love horses. I love horses. You're sleeping in your food. See, we went to go get you some more shavings too. So just when you think everything's going well with horses. He's already looking a lot better. <laughs> I went to work at 6 a.m. He was fine. Get home at noon. He's packing a leg. Gave him some prep talk. Luckily, it's not that big of a deal. It's just gonna take some minor tending to. Kevin just ran to town to go get some more shavings because of course we ran out of shavings and of course it's gonna be minus 15 tonight so I gotta go drag my bucket, my tub, <laughs> from out in the middle of the field so we can throw a heater in it but that's okay. We love him. So shout out to Rusty Spur for having the best shavings ever. Nice and light. And they were open on a Saturday. Because horses like to get hurt on weekends, so. Kick it, Caden, kick it. Yeah. Good job. All right, we'll let the pony do with that what he wants. So since apparently Badger and Moonshine are like besties now, we've got them both in the barn, so. Have a little snooze and the fresh shavings. Tell me how much you love horses. <laughs> yeah. 9 p.m. <laughs> Somehow convinced Kevin to come out here and throw heaters in the big tub, which I was too lazy to get earlier. And Moonshine. Dad just got more shavings. Had his foot in and out of an ice vibe boot and back on track boots and all the things. So I'm gonna show the ice vibe boots. It's only my second time using them. Um, but as far as I know, so they're basically a cold therapy boot. And the idea of it for this occasion is that instead of me having to cold hose badger for 15 minutes, I can throw basically these ice packs on his legs for 15 minutes. This is the ice pack that we put in the freezer and then it just Velcros right there on his leg. So here's the boot that just goes on over top. It just kind of goes on like a regular boot. And then this is the fun part. <laughs> they vibrate. <laughs> so it's got a little button back here 
and it just turns on. And what they do is it sends pulses into the legs and helps reduce any swelling. Abscess in there, then hopefully he's looking at me like, Who are you talking to? <laughs> um, hopefully, if there is an abscess, what it'll do is it'll help to draw it out to the bottom of his foot so it can come out. So now I'll just wait for his foot to dry and then we'll come back out and we'll put his back on track on. Here we go again. Day, I don't even know, two or three doing the ice vibe boots, then I'll put his back on track boots back on, then I'll soak him again, and then I'll put the back on track boots on again. But he's looking a little better today. He's actually walking around without a limp, so, and the swelling's gone down a lot. <laughs> I think it's just an abscess. I just need it to come out. <laughs> Look at that, he's resting his good foot. Okay. 